Hi guys, there's a lot of interest in the HScope Wi-Fi data logger uh, that, that Dennis featured on the Gadgets playlist using the Bluetooth. But about four years ago, I'm pretty sure Dennis had the same video where he used this really simple setup with alligator clips and a 100 watt resistor. I'm just going to show you how to do that using HScope and pretty much any, any oscilloscope that works with it. So we're going to carefully slip off the negative. Oops, I lost it. Kind of slide it up without losing contact. And now we're just going to grab any scope we can find that works for each scope. So since we know that uh, one volt drop on the resistor is going to be an amp of current, we can change the probe just to volts equal amps, and right now it says we're almost at zero amps. And if I open the car door, you turn on all the lights on the inside, it's all the lights coming on, and we're running at two, well, three, yeah, three amps. And at this stage, if we're doing a parasitic test, we can just go on over to the logger screen. Right now I'm running, wow, three and a half amps for all the bulbs. Um, we just start to, to log it. I'll just close the, the door. Oh, it's doing an auto scale. We should start seeing the scale going down soon. <clears throat> it says I can record this one for 24 hours. It's going to depend on what your, uh, how much memory you've got on the tablet or your phone. Just, oh, starting to drop down now. You guys get the idea. So after I'd built this one ohm uh, shunt resistor, Jamie on the Telegram group said, why not just use the, the 10 amp scale because it's already on your multimeter because it's already got a built-in resistor and fuse so so right now I've just got our my meter in line carrying current it's still still running 72 millivolts um, this is the computer settling down and I put my multimeter or I put the um, oscilloscope across the DV, you know the DVM Okay, so we've the car's still starting to go to sleep. The um, still drawing 72 milliamps, and I've added a probe called the Astro AI shunt, and it's showing it at at um, 70 milliamps. Let's open the door. Close the door. Oh, cool. The meter is about to go into. Uh, the nice thing about this is the meter is just about to shut off. I'll put her into the logger.
Start recording. And we want running at the 3.8 amps, which is roughly what I'm getting on the shunt coming across the oh, meter. Oh, it's just starting to drop now. Nice thing, we can walk away and pretty soon my meter's going to shut off and it'll still keep on logging. Yeah, there's the meters off and I can go open car door and we'll still get the... Well, the logger's picking it up now for the next day. So to get that probe, I'm just going to bring myself back to the oscilloscope, bringing me back to a normal times one scale, and okay, at this stage, well, we, we can assume that at zero volts on the ammeter, it's going to be zero volts going across there on the, on the scope, but I'll just open the door, get some dough. From the original screen, we'll scroll down to settings, and then we'll click on probes, and then we'll click on at plus, which is added one at the very bottom called name. And once we have that done, we can edit the name and we'll just put an Astro AI shunt. <clears throat> then next and then this is for the offset so we'll hit next now it changes to our multiplier value of 10.15 click done now I'll change the units from volts to amps and click save and now I've got a new probe called Astro AI shunt <laughs> 